Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations, and if you're wondering where I've been for a while, check back a couple videos, I've got an update that says where I've been. Um, anyway, I'm just going to get into it. This is my April Paper Tray Ink Haul. Um, the color for the month was Amethyst Allure. Um, so I'm going to share it. So I, I got the paper, I got the um, Allure Plus White Paper Collection. I really like these and I'm really sad Paper Tray Ink is not going to be carrying them this month, starting from July on. I got the cube. I got the ink pad. I got the refill. And I also got the spring rain refill at that point because my spring rain was completely dry. Um, so anyway, let's compare it to the Paper Tray Ink colors. So this is Lavender Moon. This is Winter Wisteria. This is Plum Pudding, and this is Royal Velvet. Uh, and then here is the Amethyst. This is a really pretty purple. I really like this. It's not as dark as I love my purple to be, but I really like it compared to the other colors. So I kind of put it... Or where I put it. No, I put it like in here. But it kind of goes good here. Or maybe even like here or here. I don't know. Lots of fun color combinations you can get with it. But there's the new purple. I like it. And then compared to the Stampin' Up! colors. Let me pull those over. So you have Rich Razzleberry Wisteria Wonder. I can never get remember the names. Wisteria Wonder. Um... This one is Elegant Eggplant, Perfect Plum, Blackberry Bliss, and this is the new Sweet Sugar Plum. And then here is, look at how blue Stampin' Up's purple, or Wisteria looks. Gosh, where's the other one? Like, look at the two different Wisterias. How crazy. Those are both Wisteria, this one and this one. This looks blue compared to the other. Anyway, here is the Amethyst Allure. It doesn't really look like any of the colors here. Um, so I don't, there's nothing that really matches very well with those, as you can tell. God, this really looks blue compared to these other purples. Anyway, there it is compared to the Stampin' Up! colors. Nothing matches very well. Yeah, no. Okay, so there's the colors based on Stampin' Up! colors. Okay, um, I also picked up the Dress Up Dolls School Days. I think these are really cute. I have yet to play with the Dress Up Dolls, you guys. I got the basics in March, and I haven't even opened that one yet. I haven't really had time. I had wanted to make um, teacher cards. We had a, Betsy and I had a show in May. Um, I thought maybe it would be cute to make some fun end-of-the-year teacher cards, but I never got around to it. But you have the little... Um, boy and girl school uniforms. You have thank you teacher, first day of school. You have the little books, the little apple, a backpack, um, little knee high stockings, and little boy and girl shoes. Um, super cute. And then here's the matching die. I got the inspired faith stamp and die. So you have don't dig up and doubt what you plant planted in faith. Um, and you have. Let your faith. What is it? Let your let your faith. Um. I don't know. I don't know what that one goes with. But you have, um, faith can move. Oh, faith can move mountains. Um. For we walk by faith. Um, don't lose faith. Be bigger than your fears. Um, oh, let, let your faith be bigger than your fears. There we go. Um, f faith not by sight. I don't know. Um, faith will see you through. Faith makes all things possible. So, really good. I like these a lot. So there's the faith one. And then I got the Tiny Town School. Also and the thoughts that I would make end of the year teacher cards with the schoolhouse and I just never did because I don't have the tiny town base die um, but you can still use these on the cards themselves so that's why I bought that but I don't actually have the 
um, the base die to make the tiny town. I'm not, I mean, I don't... Maybe eventually I'll get it, but I don't really know what I would use it for. But I do like the fact that you can use these buildings on a card front, and it still looks cute. Um, I picked up these shaped things, Father's Day and Mother's Day. I really want to go back and get the birthday one, too. I just have not gotten there yet. And I didn't even actually end up using either of these for Mother's Day or Father's Day, because I just never got to it. So, yeah, didn't use that. <laughs> um, maybe next year. I got the What the Doodle Apple, so you have the nice apple that you can color in here. The little apple, you got the flower, the leaf, and then you have Thanks Teacher. And then here is the coordinating die. And then I also picked up the What the Doodle Apple watercolor sheets. I'm not, I, you guys have heard me in the, another video that I said, but I'm not into the whole coloring thing, but I do like watercoloring, and so, um... I did pick up the watercolor sheets. There's that one. This one. That is the same. There's this one. This one's really nice. Just slap a sentiment on it, I guess. Um, and this one. And then this one right here. I also picked up a couple dies. I picked up the cover plate Delightful. I like this one. But I, I think I really like this marquee one better. I don't know. Which one do you guys like better? I like that this one's got a lot of cool like extras on the side here. I think it would probably look better this way. Maybe. Or this way. I don't know. But I got these two cover plate dies. I picked up the French frock, French, French frocks, um, the French fry box favor it. I didn't get the popcorn one, um, I don't know, I don't even know when I'll use the French fry one, but, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to make gift card holders out of this for, like, McDonald's or Burger King. So that's on my list of things to do is cut some of these out for gift card holders. I picked up the Paper Puff Topper as well as the Snack Cup Wrap Die. And I don't have any with me, but I did make cupcakes out of these. And I wrapped it in the, I wrapped the little cases and I thought I had one on my desk. Apparently, oh I do. Little Snack Cup things. I wrapped them with paper and I made little cupcakes. And I put Chewy Sprees in them. And I gave them to my coworkers for Teacher Appreciation Day. Just a little something to show them that I appreciate them. Um, I got the Friendship Jar Flower stamp set. So you have the flower, the um, the stems with all the little flower pieces. Then you have Thank You and For You. And then there is a matching die. So it cuts out the whole thing. I picked up Bold and Beautiful Sentiments. I don't love all of these. I don't love these really big ones. But I do like the um, So Happy For You Congratulations. It's your day to celebrate. Um, and I like the sayings. I just don't like this big swirly part of it. But you also have Love Always and Forever. A note of thanks. Rejoicing with you and keeping you in my thoughts. And you guys know that I love sentiment sets. And I especially love when there are five or more sentiments in the same plot. Because then you can make card sets. And then I picked up the matching die and they're all in there but I just put them onto two sheets. I picked up the King of the Grill and I absolutely love this one. I already made two cards out of it but I don't have them because I used them or gave them out or I don't know what I did with them but um, you have Happy Birthday, Happy Birthday, Happy Father's Day, join us for a barbecue, you are the King of the Grill, congratulations on a job well done. You got the bun, you got all the different toppings and the olive. Super cute. And a little matching die. I think this one is really cute. Someone on the Paper Chain Inc. Facebook page was saying, well, why would anybody like that? But I think this is really cute. So I like the burger card. I think men would love that. You pair it with the beer one. Um, and then I think this is the last paper clipping set that I picked up, but I really want to go back and get... Okay, so last month I thought it was... In my last video, I thought this one I hadn't gotten, but it's May is the one that I want with the circle. 
It's like the thinking of you. I really want that. But this one says, thank you so much for all you do for your kindness and teacher. And then there's this little skillet board at the bottom and a couple extra flowers. And then there is the die. Look how intricate that is, you guys. It's so cool. And the last thing I picked up in April was the ColourPop Butterfly Kit. Just like the ColourPop Floral Kit. You have the stamp set. So you have all the different parts of the butterfly and you have a little butterfly. And you have um, For You and You Make Me. And then you have the dies and it says happy. Happy for you or you make me happy. I really like I really like the word dies. I love word dies, you guys. And then there are stencils. So you have the butterfly one. You have the little butterfly stencil. And you have the flower stencil. And that is meant to use on the papers. And I got extra paper. We have the brown butterflies. Brown, tan, and we craft. Linen. Uh, that smoky shadow. Soft stone. And then you have the cutout butterflies. There's four of those. Right? And I picked up an extra pack. Oh, wait, no, here's more. Here's more paper. So there's this one. This one. This one, this one, this one. These are all different colors. And there's the ones that I showed you before. Yeah. So I picked up an extra of the paper packs. That's it. So that was my April haul. I have May and June to share with you as well. So if you're interested, keep watching. If not, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.